Farmers across Georgia are struggling with glyphosate-resistant Palmer amaranth, commonly called pigweed, in their fields. Now, these weeds, if not controlled, will do great harm or totally destroy a valuable crop. Recently, the Monitor's Mark Wildman visited a farm in the heavily affected Macon County area where the weeds are being controlled. In Macon County, farmers have been battling glyphosate-resistant pigweed for a while now. But at this farm, there does not seem to be a weed in sight. Representatives from Monsanto were on hand to show farmers in the area what the potential of battling weeds are these days with good varieties, good machinery, and good management plans. What we have here is a concept that we created on the Southeast team called a demonstration farm. The objective of the demonstration farm is to do just that, to demonstrate our herbicide recommendations, the success or efficacy of those, to demonstrate the performance of our cotton product, uh, and do so in a real-world setting. The field day gave the company a chance to not only highlight their Roundup Ready Plus products, but it also gave them an opportunity to make connections in the community. Reality is the best uh, way in the world of getting across the success of anything you're trying to accomplish. So being able to see it, put their hands on it, walk the fields, and so forth was the objective of this demonstration farm. I think we uh, did a pretty good job of uh, uh, displaying the success of what we're trying to uh, recommend to our growers and to our retailers. Along with advanced crop varieties, experts here say farmers have to take a very aggressive stance in battling weeds. The grower first needs to realize uh, that when you look at the different herbicide systems available out there, that you can control pigweed, and, and pigweed has been controlled in a Roundup-based system. Even though we have glyphosate resistance within the, the Palmer pigweed, here in Georgia and it's very prevalent across the state. There are systems in place that growers are being able to manage this weed and keep it under control without having to switch herbicide systems. Once a grower can understand that they can do that, then they can start focusing on what is the variety that brings them the most potential uh, for higher yield. And we believe that our Delta Pine uh, varieties like Delta Pine 1048 B2RF out here behind me uh, as well as Delta Pine 1050, B2RF, and 1034. These newer varieties that we have have the highest yield potential for growers in the state of Georgia. They say on this farm they are fortunate. A farmer never let the weeds get a strong hold on him, and they outlined the steps that were taken to achieve these results. The grower is a, a proactive grower who from the get-go with this weed didn't take the let's wait and see what we get next year or even the year after and went ahead and started being proactive on removing weeds from the field not letting them go to seed so the seed bank in, in this growers field is a lot lower than growers who say have been willing to live with a, a growing population of pigweed before they finally decided that they had a problem. If you were going to pick one location in the state of Georgia to showcase your products effectiveness against pigweed Macon County is a perfect spot. Yeah, Macon County was uh, the first documented resistance of pigweed in the state of Georgia. And we've had to deal with them, you know, quite a bit longer than other people. Uh, we've tried a lot of different rates, different products, and uh, we've got a, a great University of Georgia scientist, Stanley Culpepper, that's doing a lot of research on it. And he's helping people like me uh, make the best recommendation choices for my customers. It will not be an easy road for farmers battling weeds, but with good management plans, the right machinery for application, and companies with a free market capitalist incentive to help, the battle can be won. Reporting from Macon County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.